Welcome to this presentation of modifying duct and pipe fitting angle with the help of ID8 Explorer. One of the issues a lot of people face is with the duct and pipe fitting angles. The mechanical settings need to be set up at the beginning of the project within the project template file. However, if it has not been set up initially and you already have your ductwork and piping within your project, it's a time consuming and a tedious task to QC each of the fittings. The reason is because there is no way you can tell which ones have the specific fitting angles and which ones don't. Although you can schedule the duct fittings, fitting angle is not a schedulable parameter and hence cannot be changed in the schedule. A workaround within Revit would be to create a shared parameter and add it to the fitting family. Then schedule that parameter, highlight the element in the model and then modify the fitting. With the help of ID8 Explorer, you can quickly query the problematic duct fittings and fix them with the desired fitting angle. The benefits of using ID8 Explorer are, there is no need to create a shared parameter, no need to edit the fitting family, and there is no need to create a schedule to show elements with the wrong fitting angle. We will take a look at an example involving duct fittings, but the process is the same for pipe fittings as well. Within this project, I have some duct fittings that I want to be able to change such that they are only using the specific angles that I have defined in the mechanical settings. What I will do is launch ID8 Explorer and set the display to only show elements in the active view. In the search field, I will type the word elbow so in the results I am only seeing those elements that have the word elbow in them. From the results, I will choose duct fittings and query those elements. I will then search for the angle parameter and select the angles that I want to modify. We can see that I have 16 elements selected. I will now save the selection. I will then zoom in and select the first element and see that the angle is 7.5 degrees. Since I have set up the mechanical settings to only use specific angles, the next time I create a fitting, it will use only one of those angles. Now when I select this fitting, it shows that the fitting angle is 11.25 degrees, which is exactly what I need. I can do the same for the rest of the fittings and ensure that they are all reporting only those fitting angles that I have set up within the mechanical settings. ID8 is an authorized Autodesk developer with over 25 years of experience. For more information, visit us at id8software.com forward slash ID8 Explorer.